Our Heavenly Father, we as uh, human beings this morning and the, the comers to this place of worship, Thy great hand has moved among us and taken from us one of our precious brothers, who we love and know that Thou did love him. And you had a reason for all this, Lord, or it would not have happened in this way, knowing that our Bible tells us that all things work together for good to them that love God, and that He did. And we look around in the world and we find the nature in every way speaking to us that the grave cannot hold Him. For on earth He served the purpose that you sent Him here to do. He was a good, loyal brother. We find that in the life of botany life and in the life of the sun that rises of a morning to give us light, and in the middle of the day it becomes middle age, and in the evening it dies again, only to rise again the next morning fresh and new, because it served God's purpose. We see the flowers as they bloom and beautify the earth and decorate the funeral halls and the wedding places and serves a purpose, opening up its heart and giving out freely honey to the bee and perfume to the passer. Beauty to the seeker gives all it has in a service for God. Then it bows its little head, but when spring comes around, it rises again because it served God's purpose. Then in the face of all nature and the Bible, the promise, and the Holy Spirit, we can gladly rejoice in our heart to know that our brother Taylor likewise, Lord, served God's purpose. And to say that he would not rise again would be to deny our Bible, our God, and all things that God has given us to look at to know that there is a resurrection. So we are looking forward to the time when we shall see him again, when he is young and healthy and never to more to be sick or get old. Bless his precious wife, that loyal companion of his. How that we will miss them long, Lord, as we see them going together out to the pond and sitting on the little benches out there fishing and talking and how they were real sweethearts together. And now we know that there is the great day coming when the heroes of faith will march under the great ark of triumph and the angels of, with anthems will fill the air. We'll see them again in that place. Until then, Lord, give us courage. Bless us and help us. We we'll long miss Brother Taylor and everyone who comes to this church. I would stand at the door and find a place for the comer to hear the Word of God to sit down and ease and rest. The other day when he passed over, Lord, I prayed that the great archangel of God stood there at the door to find him a place too, Lord. He could sit down. For it is written in the Bible, the merciful shall obtain mercy. Until we see him, Lord, may the memories continue sweet in our hearts until someday when we meet again in the other land. Through Jesus Christ's name we ask it. Amen. He will be long missed among us and amidst strangers and so forth that come to our church our building here to worship. May his soul rest in peace before God till that day. Someday, too, each one of us will go one by one till we drop down along the line like that. Let us now, while we have time and can, let's prepare ourselves for that time coming, for we don't know when it will be. We don't know who will be next. Let us live so that each day that if it should ever come, it will be for us, we'll be ready.